Hi, my name is Ramses Out from roamstack.com. Today, I want to show you how to install and use the extremely powerful and useful Roam TOC plugin. Um, the Roam TOC plugin is created by Luis Thiam Nai, um, and it adds a table of contents to any Roam page that contains headings. So I have written an article uh, for the Roam Stack knowledge base um, that is freely accessible that explains basically how everything works. Um, but I also wanted to create a video where I actually go through all of these steps. So um, for those who prefer videos. So let's get started. Um, we'll start in Rome just to make sure that one setting is enabled. So we go here to the three dots in the top right, click it and go to settings. And then under the user tab, we can see here at the left, we're in the user tab. Um, we have to go toward the bottom and make sure that the user code is enabled. So the slider is blue. If that's the case, perfect. We can then go to the Roam slash render page and create a new block, a parent block. And I will call this Roam TOC. It's not mandatory to create a parent block, but I like to do that for uh, organizational purposes. Then we hit enter and tap to create a child block. And then write slash closure, which is the, the language that Rome is written in. Hit enter to create a code block. So now we need to go to the GitHub page for the plugin code, which we can find here on the toc.cljs page. And we just have to copy this code these 40 lines, so control or command C, paste it in here and that's it. So now we have installed the code and we can already call this code on a page and have it render a table of contents. Although having to manually reference this block is not very useful. So what we're going to do is copy this block reference. So I right click on the bullet of the code block, click copy block ref and hit the mouse. Then I go to the Rome templates page to set up a simple template that will add the table of contents to new pages for me. So again, I will add a parent block and any parent block on the Rome slash templates page will act as a trigger. So I type in at table of contents and between parentheses, I type TOC. So I have a quick trigger, which we'll see uh, being useful in just a moment. Again, I add a child block and I write the following code, curly braces, curly braces, bracket, bracket, roam, slash, render. And then after the brackets, the double brackets, I hit colon. And then we add the block reference that we just copied. So the block reference of the code block with the table of contents code. And voila, that's it. Now we can go to an example page and go to an empty block. First, we need to make sure there are headings on the page so we can see here. And then I simply hit the template trigger, semicolon, semicolon, and then we already see it in the top, but if you have more templates set up, 
you can just simply type TOC. And this is why I like to add the TOC, an abbreviation between parentheses at the end of the trigger name. So I can easily find uh, the relevant template. It almost acts like a, a shortcut. Hit enter, click away from the block, and voila, we have the table of contents. That's it. That's all you need to know. Now, anytime you have a page and you want to quickly be able to jump to different parts of the page, for example, if the page is very long, you can simply add a, ta a table of contents and then just click to be taken to that uh, area of the page. If a block or a heading is hidden it, because it's collapsed underneath another block, you cannot go to the heading. So I can click this, but it's not showing. What I would need to do is make sure that the heading is visible before I can click a link in the table of contents and be taken to that part of the page. So to do that, make sure that you've always expanded all of your blocks on the page. That's it. Enjoy.